I have an interesting mix. My father is uh, Jordanian Lebanese, um, and really, I mean, originally we're from Lebanon, but my my family eventually moved to Jordan, and then my father was born in Jordan. So I certainly have the uh, Middle Eastern side, and then the other half is my mother, who is Filipino. So I have. Uh, an Asian side as well. Uh, I was born in Chicago, um, grew up most of my life in America. Good morning everyone, happy birthday. It's really great to have this mix of cultures. I spent the first few years of my life in, in Saudi Arabia actually, uh, in Riyadh. My father was stationed there with the United Nations and so I grew up for a, a good portion of, of my life, uh, my early childhood there. And um, it, was, it was a great experience because I was able to live in the culture that I'm, you know, from, uh, it, uh, certainly in the Middle Eastern side. And, but then, of course, you know, uh, I grew up in the United States, where that is really uh, where I, I call home. Growing up there, going to school there, learning violin at a very early age. Beethoven inspired me. You know, Beethoven was the composer that really changed my life when it came to music but then there was Mahler and Strauss and Wagner and and you know you listen to the complexities of this music the the long lines and and, and the harmonies you know the absolutely complex harmonies that you know somehow work really well and uh, and you can hear these composers just stretch it as long as they possibly can <laughs> The souk here it takes me back, uh, actually, to my childhood because when I was uh, growing up uh, in the Middle East and uh, also visiting my family in Jordan, uh, often we would actually go uh, to Lebanon from Jordan. We would take a you know about a six-hour drive actually uh, to Lebanon, and right in between is Syria, where we would stop by this this beautiful souk. Might very much like looks like, uh, like this, where you can uh, buy so many things if you just walk a few couple miles down the road you're going to hit these incredibly high skyscrapers that are just uh, you know and, and the cars the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis that are going around town and it's an amazing difference to what you see here and you'd never know Music has always been a part of my life. I've always enjoyed science as well, and in fact, I was my, my goal in life was to become a doctor. I went to uh, university and I studied uh, in neurobiology, physiology, and behavior. That's the degree from uh, UC Davis, and and then music was the other degree, and and, and music was really there to help me, um, uh, support me in the with the neurobiology. It was a great balance, you know, with science and music, and so I was fascinated by both, and so it really helped me get through my degree, but. Then and uh, I realized that, in fact, music is what I really wanted to do. And then eventually I decided that I wanted to be a conductor. It was late on in my um, bachelor's degrees. And, and uh, eventually I decided uh, and I told my, my parents, and they were incredibly supportive. Uh, if, uh, I mean, it was their support that really got me to um, pursue music. And, and then the rest is history. <laughs> have the chance to work with the Pittsburgh Symphony that is the most one of the most valuable moments of my life <laughs> did a wide range of repertoire and because they're so good you ha you have to take that valuable opportunity to learn with the score and and hear how they play certain segments and 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 also the Pittsburgh Symphony really tests the limits of what an orchestra can do 
I grew up listening to Mozart and Beethoven and Mahler and Strauss and Brahms and Wagner and Verdi and, and you know you just keep going and you know it's like a kid in a candy store to be able to program a piece that you've been dying to do. New music is a is a big thing with me. Um, I I always love getting a new score. It, it, it's like a, it's like a present, you know. It's like a little gift of uh, from someone to be able to talk to a living composer and really get out of him or her what they wanted, you know, what they had in mind, exactly how they wanted to sound, what their intentions were, what they were thinking, um, you know, why they wrote this passage. Uh, I think. That is really valuable. Conducting the pieces that I've been really wanting to do and that I love to conduct and also being able to incorporate music that no one's heard before is all part of the, you know, uh, process of programming for me. And it's, it's really a lot of fun. I have a great time when I, when I program. Mm -hmm. 